What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the Temporary Mission Bio Reactor series. This time we are working with Helian for a minor. And this is one of the plans I've been wanting to introduce to a Temporary Mission Bio Reactor for a while. And I finally got enough plans to do so. Let's start with the media. I'm doing one ter MS media with 30 grams of sucrose, uh, one milliliter per liter of PPM. In this case, I'm making two milliliters, so I'm adding two milliliters per liter. Uh, one milliliter per liter of NAA and 0 0.1 milliliters per liter of BA. So this is um, routine media or pre-transplant media. Uh, I have done um, media for for multiplication and also for routine on Heliamphora. And I think it will benefit more if I use uh, routine media than multiplication. The ones I do on multiplication, they are doing great. I have a uh, lots and lots of plans. However, they are really tiny and i think for this experiment i just want to get as many uh, as many or uh, big plants as possible so that's why i'm using multiplication uh, routine media in this case if you are new to this series welcome but you have seen any of my previous videos on the temporary mission by your reactors you already know that i'm testing different types of containers and different types of media in this case i'm using uh, 16 ounce daily containers magenta boxes 250 milliliters Bente flask from Prancel Technology and baby food jars. Uh, I'm also testing different gelling agents, uh, agar versus gel and gum, to see if the media, like the gelling agent, does any makes any difference, or the the size or the the material of the container affects the growth of the plant. The experiment is going to last 20 weeks. And at the end of the 20 weeks, I'm going to deflash all the plants and compare and determine which was the best method to grow a Heliamphora minor in this case. Here are the plants I'll be using for this experiment. They are growing on a 16 ounce daily container and on the same exact media I'll be using for this experiment. I'll be using my stereo forces to separate the plants. Uh, they are very easy to split and I don't need a knife to do so. The only thing is that you need to be very careful as these plants are very fragile. After spraying the plants, all I had to do is to place it into my tissue coat of flask, um, seal the flask using parafilm or serine wrap, and write the label and the date. After this, I only have one temporary mesh by your reactor left, so please let me know in the comments which plant you want me to use for it. I can use Cephalotus, Saracenia, or some sort of Anubias. Also, feel free to suggest any other plant. My goal is to educate as many people as possible, and some of you may have a, you may want to work with different types than other people, and that also benefits me as I want to learn to do tissue culture with other plants, and I think it's going to be great as we can work all together and see what works and what doesn't, and try try to fix it along the way. If uh, some media doesn't do well, we can try different media or we if the sterilization process doesn't work we can try something different uh, it may take me a while to find each plant as a lot they, they may be difficult to find and also it's not only finding the plant but it's also introducing it to tissue culture and then getting enough plants to make experiments with anyways i do have a special announcement coming soon so please subscribe to the channel and go visit plantcelltechnology.com for more information Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying these tissue culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.